What is up, guys? Bye, Muffin here, and we are back with some more Trails of Cold Steel 2. Last time, we made it to Keldic, and we started looking around to see what we can learn about what's kind of been going on in the months since the Civil War started. We ran into Becky and Rosine. Becky was the one who was always with Hugo, you know, big on the whole, uh, you know, uh, shopping business type thing um, with the very uh, interesting accent. And then Rosine is obviously the one who we always saw, the student from Thor's, who was always kind of uh, working in the church. So neither of them seem to have too much information what's been going on, that they've just been kind of lying low here in Keldic. So now we're going to head for the inn to see if we can get any more information. Obviously, the people in the inn are bound to recognize Reen because of when he stayed here during his field study. So let's see what we can learn. Yep. I remember the uh, the lady running, Margaret. That was her name. Wait a minute, aren't you one of Sarah's students? What are you doing here with Toval, no less? Hello, ma'am. I see things haven't changed much here. Hey, Margaret, you're looking well. Last time we saw her was when I came for that request. Yeah, been a while. <clears throat> Toval aside, shouldn't you be in hiding, young man? The Provincial Army was searching for you not long ago. No one seemed to suspect us yet, so we should be fine for now. I doubt they'll notice us as long as we don't do anything too crazy. Uh, well, if you say so. It's a relief to know you're okay. Are you going to be staying here? We're actually not sure where, what we're going to be doing for now. More importantly, where we're staying, there's something we'd like to ask you. So you're searching for your classmates. <clears throat> Based on what we know, there's somewhere around here. You wouldn't happen to have any leads at all, would you? Mm. Sorry, can't say I do. We barely get anyone new coming in as it is with all the train restrictions. And I would only be able to recognize the students who came with you last time. That's true. Well, just knowing they aren't staying here is a big help. By the way, we had heard things here were very tense, but... Seems relatively peaceful from what I can tell. Well, there hasn't been any direct effect on the town itself. Rumor has it there's fighting going on over near the eastern border, though. Over by Gorelia Fortress? Yeah, seems like the Imperial Army is holding their line of defense over there. A solid one at that, too. They say the Provincial Army is struggling to break through it. The Twin Dragon's Bridge is over that way, too, actually. They must be fighting with the troops there. Yes, well, that's why the lot of us are worried. If they're fighting that close by, who knows when Keldic will get caught up in it. That is an unfortunate possibility. The market manager's been doing what he can to prevent the worst, but the provincial army doesn't exactly inspire confidence in their willingness to keep us safe, you know? Ugh, if only this war would just be over and done with. I feel you. Thanks for the info, Margaret. You be sure to watch your back, all right? Same to you two. Be careful out there. All right, well, we did get some information. Let's see if she's selling anything. Well, I guess it would help to rest as well. Just to heal up real quick, get some CP back. Okay, uh, yeah, give me some Mira. Oh, yeah, isn't there a weapon shop in this town? I think we've asked almost all the townsfolk at this point. And yet we are with, with zip for clues. You sure they're really here? I kind of find it hard to believe your friends have gotten by without a single person noticing them. Valimar detected them, so they have to be somewhere in the area. If they're not here in town, then they're either on the highway or somewhere else in the general region, right? I hope they're holding up okay. Hey there, you two seem like you got time to kill. What? How about picking up a copy of the Imperial Chronicle? The latest volume's got a boatload of handy information. And it comes at the low, low price of 100 mira. Not bad, huh? Uh, got a pushy one here, don't we? Sorry, kid, we're kind of busy at the moment. Whatever, just take one already. You're gonna regret it if you don't. I mean it. 
It's gonna be nothing but regret. Well, I guess it can't hurt. Heh, <laughs> thanks. Sheesh, you really wanted that sale. Don't think I've ever seen that someone that desperate to sell a newspaper before. You did have a point, though. Reading the newspaper is a great way to get a better idea of what's going on. True enough. Let's give it a read. All right, let's take a good look. All right, breaking. Noble Alliance's forces keep winning. The Alliance's work to eliminate rebellious elements all over the country is proceeding smoothly. Very smoothly, in fact, with the latest official announcement reporting that 60% of the country is now under their control. One victory after another. I went to interview some of the soldiers on the ground in the Western Front about the ongoing battles. Standing in their base, it was easy to feel overwhelmed by the sight of the countless soldats and the the state-of-the-art military airships lined up. I'd heard much about how superior the Noble Alliance's forces were to the rebels in terms of quality and amount of weaponry and vehicles they have, but seeing them all in person, I finally understood that all I'd heard was completely true. The commanding officer I spoke to had inspiring words about the war itself as well. The armored divisions of the former Imperial Army may have been elite, but they no longer have a good cause to fight for. Now they're simply a disorganized rabble. Jeez. Um... Furthermore, the beloved General Aurelia Le Guin and Brigadier General Wallace Bardias are both heroically fighting on the front lines with their armies at their side. Needless to say, morale is astonishingly high. We do, however, have a good cause to fight for, and because of that, the commanding officer continued, there's absolutely no chance we would be defeated. Predictions for the future. The Alliance forces seem to have every intention of falling through with their mission to wipe out the rebels. Uh, with most of their numbers already defeated, the former Imperial Army soldiers remaining have spread throughout the land and in many areas are working with other rebels to worsen public order. I think I speak for everyone in saying that the complete elimination of such soldiers can't come soon enough. Society. Former Governor Regnitz formerly arrested. Okay, so Machias' father. The former Imperial Governor Heimdallar Karl Regnitz has already been apprehended on suspicion of treason, but he has now been resist arrested as a result of increasing his evidence proving his guilt. His arrest means there are now 40 members of the Imperial government that have been placed under arrest on charges of treason. Even the person leading the investigation was unable to hide his surprise at just how many rebels had been participating in government affairs unnoticed all this time. It really seems like they're just, you know making stuff up to really get these guys in jail. Not really making stuff up, but they're just, like, trying to play things in a certain way where it's just like, oh, Carl Regnitz was supporting the Chancellor, which means he's a horrible person. Um, with more and more members of the Reformist faction being found to be guilty of similar charges, we wouldn't be surprised if he had plenty more to rest the days to come. Uh, incident. Beware of deception and demonstrations. The Army's press office has words of caution in light of the alarming number of demonstrations and false reports spreading across the Empire of late. In their latest statement, they warn supporting the former Imperial Army or sympathizing with their actions both constitute as treason. The best thing to do for now is to ignore such degenerates. Please. We sincerely trust that all our readers will take heed of this advice and not pay attention to groundless rumors. Train and air travel update. Rail and air travel have gradually begun to resume as a result of the Noble Alliance's actions. However, the number of trains and airships in operation remain limited, and major inspections are being conducted at key stations in the interest of security. Passengers wishing to travel should expect delays. There is always the possibility that public transport will be halted again, depending on future developments. Citizens who have peerages peerages will have priority when purchasing tickets allowing them to travel more easily where certain the members of the nobility will enjoy making use of this well yeah so peerages obviously referring to the nobles enjoy yeah well-deserved service okay even machius's dad has been arrested so all of a sudden the imperial army and all the high-ranking reformists are traitors huh 
Uh, the Imperial Chronicles not even trying to be impartial these days. Well, they really can't, because if they are, then, you know, they're going to get slapped around. Yep, it's safe to assume the Alliance has complete control over it. It's like in Azure when Grace just couldn't write whatever she wanted, because then Dieter could have just had her thrown in jail. Most likely. It looks like the Alliance is so sure of their victory, they're getting things ready for when the war's over. That's how to do it if you want things to go your way. They're a cunning bunch. Huh? There's something stuck on the last page. Huh? You're right. Piece of paper? Is this a map? Looks that way. It's of the Eastern Highway. But what's with all these random numbers and symbols on it? There's an R, a Q, a P, an N, and a B. There's more stuff written on the back, too. The one who takes the queen holds the key to the king. Is this some sort of code? It's gotta be. Please tell me this isn't who I, from I think it is. It, it does resemble Phantom Thief B's usual weirdness. Except nothing's been stolen this time, so I doubt it's him. Actually, the symbols in layout of the map remind me of chess. Oh, well, Machias, then. What do you think, Tobol? Chess? Maybe. It does look like a chess board. But wait, that must mean... Let's assume these colored letters each represent a different chess piece. In which case, the white Q must represent the queen. There's the black BP representing the bishop and pawn. Don't look at me, I don't know anything about the games you people play. All you need to know is he's on to something. Assuming your theory is right, then solving the message written on the other side shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, hopefully. You want to head to the highway? It's the best lead we've got. So, considering it's chess, Machias is the most likely uh, culprit here. What are you selling besides... That's all you're selling? Okay. Well, let's go. さて探索開始と行くか。地図を確認しつつ調べてみましょう。So they want us to go all the way over there. Hmm, ここ Old, obtained old key. Here we go. I can't believe it. That message actually pointed us to a key. I figured this was the spot. First off, the one who takes the queen referred to the bishop in the position to take the queen. And the location of the bishop's symbol on the map corresponds to right here. Nice to see we're on the right track. Only question is, where's the lock for this key? The note says the key to the king, but doesn't mention where the king is. Hold on, there's another note in the chest. The king lurks within his fortress. Take him and your path shall be clear. More chess shenanigans, huh? It's not much different from the riddle we just solved. Yep, don't see why it would be. Our goal this time is to take the king. All we have to do is figure out which piece on the map can accomplish that. And once we do, it's checkmate for our mysterious friend. Time to get our heads in the game. Obviously, you don't actually have to do that because you just okay. It, it tells you where to go. So, I guess if you really wanted to figure out the riddle yourself, you could just you know not look at the map. Just be like, okay, let's look at the tiny map and figure it out. Does seem like there's a door behind this windmill though. Safe to say this is where that message was pointing to. Yeah, this has to be it. 
It is funny, though. He just leaves the key in a random chest on the highway. Anyone could have opened it. It's locked. Let's try the key we just found. Rain unlocked the door using the old key. Bingo. That was easy. I'm betting the one responsible for the riddles is inside. There's someone inside at any rate. I have my suspicions on who it is, too. Ready to go in now? Nah, let's just go away. No, I'm kidding. Figured it was him. Machias! That's one classmate down. Eight more to go. Machias! Machias Regnitz. <笑>信じていたよ。君なら必ず暗号を解いて、ここにたどり着くとね。うん。その思ったより元気そうで何よりだ。わあ。ビッグハグ。ちょ、君、お、落ち着きたまえ。よかった、マキアス。<笑> こうしてまた会えて。あの時は本当にもうダメかと。君ってやつは僕たちだってあの場で倒れるつもりはさらさらなかったさ。君もそれを信じたからこそ。ここまで来てくれたんだろう。マキアス。あ、そうだな。本当にその通りだ。ま、まったく。しっかりしたまえ。だが、ありがとう。また会えて本当に嬉しいよ。うん。湿っぽいのはその辺にしときなさいよね。
It's been enough to help us look into a way to turn this country around. As well as find any information we could that would lead us to you. Well, you found me. Well, we found you. Sounds like you three have been busy. Look who's talking. I can't imagine going through what you did than seeing your sister and Princess Alphen taken from you like that. Know that none of us would hesitate for a second to help you rescue them. Thanks, Machias. I appreciate it. Hey, so you were the one that made up those riddles, right? Was the kid selling us the newspaper in on it? Haha, you're correct on both counts. We received a report from a reliable source in town that said someone resembling Reen had been spotted. I could have probably chosen a simpler method to get your attention, but what's done is done. Only you would make us run around solving a riddle using chess metaphors. You sure this isn't Phantom Thief B's influence rubbing off on you? Okay, less probably and more definitely should have chosen a simpler method. <laughs> Regardless, I can't hardly wait to tell Ellie and Fee that you're safe. They'll be as overjoyed as I was once they find out. Do you know where they went? Yeah, they're out trying to find a way to head farther east along the border with Crossbell. We want to go to what remains of the Gorelia Fortress. Gorelia Fortress? Oh yeah, Margaret did say there were soldiers from the Imperial Army over in that area. Yeah, they're using the Proving Ground near where the fortress used to be as a base for the moment. Specifically, Lieutenant General Craig's division is stationed there. Elliot's dad. The 4th Armored Division. Well, you couldn't ask for a better last line of defense. You're trying to get in contact with them, right? Precisely. We believe that might just help us find some way to turn things around. And while they're out, I'm staying here and providing backup while acting as a liaison. It shouldn't be long before they give me their next periodic update. We can apprise them on the situation and arrange to meet when they do. Got it. I guess we'll have some free time until then. You know, if there's anything more we can do here, I'd hate to just sit and do nothing. How about we head back into the town? I want to have a good look at the surrounding area, see if there's any info I can pick up. Sounds like an excellent idea. Let's head to Kelvic. Maki has joined the party. Rain and Machias can now use Overdrive. Cool. Well, there's Machias's, uh... Well, his model is... More or less the... Well, I guess Reen's is kind of the same, too. But yeah, Maki is just new outfit, same uh, art. It actually might be different. I might not be able to tell at first glance. All right, well, we're back to three party members, at least. And we know at least one of Machias' crafts is kind of a heel, so that'll be helpful. Okay. <laughs> Oh, so they switched uh, Rain and Machias to linking with each other. Let's see what he's got. Uh, yeah, energy shell is the 30% uh, heal, and then ultimate shot. What does he start at? Maki is 48. Okay, he starts at the same level as Tobal is right now. It's funny because obviously there in the subtitles he said, I missed you, but he says... But what he actually said in Japanese was like, yeah, I'll be counting on you, Machias. Or, good to be working with you again, Machias. But some things can be interchangeable. Well, we made it back into town, but the hard part starts here. We'll have to be very careful not to be noticed. Wow, I'm surprised how different you look without your glasses. It, kinda? Not really? 
No one seemed especially suspicious of us when we were walking around, but I guess you can't be too careful. I'm the Imperial Governor's son. I'm going to be higher up on the wine list than most. And key reformist figures are being arrested one after another. There's no such thing as being too cautious in this situation. It's weird that taking off your glasses makes you look that different, though. They're just glasses. Yeah. Superman. Eyes are one of the most distinguishing human features. Using glasses to your advantage is a solid plan. How's your vision, though? <laughs> Less than ideal. Well, we'll warn you if you're about to walk in any lampposts. Okay, let's have a look around town. Might be a good idea to visit Otto while we're at it. He might have some useful info for us. Sounds like a good idea. I want to let him know we were able to reunite, too. Whatever. Let's just hurry it up. Oh wow, he's actually not wearing them. Like the the night. Does he actually have it as like an accessory that you can like wear? I mean, you could always just put them on. Yeah, I guess it's just for the sake of being in town. All right, uh. So we gotta talk to Otto. So I guess just head straight for the market manager's place. Oh, but I do wanna head here. Oh. Uh, maybe you? Rakio. Buster Shot. Twister. These are obviously new weapons, but the ones we're using are better. Um. That'll work. Alright, that's good. Glad it's not like super expensive yet compared to the money we've been making. Yeah, soldier's still around. Hey, Otto. Hello, sir. It's a pleasure to see you again. Well, if it isn't young Reen, I'm pleased not much has changed with you. I'm relieved to see you successfully meet, met up with Machias, too. We haven't seen you since April, but you seem to be doing well for yourself. So, yeah, it's December now. So, that's like, what? May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So, like, eight months later. Maybe like seven, because wasn't it like the end of April? So yeah, like seven months. Machias told us that they were able to hide out here thanks to your help too. Indeed, it's all thanks to you and the townsfolk. I mean, he can put the glasses back on while he's in here. You don't know how much you've helped me. Think nothing of it. I'd say it was more due to your resolve that things worked out so well. I have to say, I certainly wasn't expecting to see Toval with you. I know it hasn't been that long since my last visit, but I couldn't keep myself away. By the way, do you mind if we swapped info since we're all here? <clears throat> How could such an awful thing happen in your mirror? I thought things were bad here in Seldic by the sound of it. We're getting off relatively easy. It helps that Gorelia has become the main war zone at this point. <clears throat> Of course, that just means things are horrible for everyone over there rather than here. Rumor is that the Noble Alliance dominate, is dominating this war, but the Imperial Army has been holding their ground. Where also has it, the Soldats at Twin Dragons Bridge have yet to successfully penetrate their line of defense. <clears throat> hmm. You should probably expect as much when you're talking about one of the Imperial Army's strongest divisions. We could definitely do with more info on what's going on over there, but I guess that we'll have to wait for the others to call. Yeah, we'll have to find something else to do until then. Well, I know. Is there anything we can do to help around here? We'd, we'd like to repay both you and the townsfolk for all you've done. 
Now it sounds like the perfect chance. That's a good plan. Mm, there are some matters I'd like assistance with. I can list off some things if you're willing to help. Please. <laughs> Reen received two requests, so it's literally field study again, but just not officially. <clears throat> All right, what do we got? Okay, dangerous monster. A right lonely herb. Oh, Father Zerbal. Okay, sure. I think we can handle these just fine, personally. Yeah, let's do what we can to make life easier. Uh, life easier for everyone. By making life harder for yourselves, I'll back you up if you guys need it. It's basically a bracer job, so why not? It's very kind of you to help us out like this. Also, remember to watch yourselves. I dread to think what would happen if the Provincial Army realized who you are. I feel kind of bad now. It's normally up to bracers to handle requests like this, but no need to feel bad. We wanted to help. He's right. Helping out, uh, helping one another out is the best way to move forward. Haha, <laughs> thanks a bunch. I guess there's a reason you guys managed to survive Sarah's field studies, huh? Well, we certainly have some experience under our belt thanks to them. Can I just say I'm not a fan of how willing you are to take even more on more work? You're probably going to have to get used to that sooner or later. That aside, Sarah would be pretty pleased knowing how hard you're all working right now. Hmm. Well, if you're going to be doing the work, how about I observe you doing it on behalf of the guild? You can do that? What exactly does that entail? Nothing special, really. It's just how we do things. Keeping tabs on everything you've done will mean I can have a nice big re report over to Sarah as well. I see. Can't see any reason to turn you down. So we're... Uh, Honorary Bracer, Reen, and Machias right now. Yep, we know how all that works. Yes, yes, yes. Having our work overlooked by Tolval is a bit nerve-wracking, to be honest. We're probably better off forgetting the ranks we received from the Academy. It's back to basics for us. Yep, same thing, but the AP and student ranks. All right, well, I think that's a good stopping point. So next time we'll handle these two requests we were given while we're waiting for Elliot and Fee to uh, check in. Let's see what this kid has to say, though. Sup, Machias? You sure you should be hanging around in town? We should be fine for now. Thanks for relaying that message. Everything worked out thanks to you. Yeah, I owe you some thanks, too. Meeting up with everyone would have been a lot harder without your help. Nah, that's cool. I even got some spare change from Otto for it. You're one sly kid, that's for sure. Just try to keep stuff like that to a minimum, all right? All right, but yeah, so next time we'll handle these two requests while we wait for Ellie and Fee to reach out, and then I guess we'll see where we go from there. You know, start building Class 7 back up. So this will be our first uh, trio, uh, first set of trios that we're going to get back together. So that's going to be it, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe for our new channel. I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.